Hello, me again. Do you like my new ensemble? Ooh, this is ours. So, you know, a bit of fun. I'll take my mask off so you can see and hear me. So what we are making today is nasi goreng, which is an Indonesian fried rice. So you're going to love it. And no. it, <laughs> Mrs. Linzel loves it. I love it. <laughs> and I'm going to show the ingredients in two secs. See ya. So we have, uh, we have our ingredients here. We have a spring onion. It's supposed to be red um, chili, but I've only got a green. It doesn't say on the recipe, but I know it would be, um, that's a small onion, so I'm using a half rather than a quarter. Two teaspoons of tomato sauce, two eggs. We've got um, our fried shallots, which is another name for onions. We've got our shrimp paste, uh, vegetable oil, uh, ketchup manis, which is a thick soy sauce. We've got cucumber, garlic, we've got our chicken um, fillet, jasmine rice, and our large lettuce leaf. So there we go. Now here we have our pestle and mortar, which you're going to use. If you don't have that, just use the tip of your knife and just squish it up on your chopping board. Okay? Right, what we're going to do now is wash our rice, but you just never know what's in rice. I mean, in Australia, our rice is pretty clean, but in other countries, it can be quite um, contaminated. But I always give it a quick wipe, a quick wash anyway. And then it will go into our boiling water. Now, a lot of people don't cook rice like this, but that's okay. What we're going to do is bring it to the boil, turn it down low and let it cook for 10 to 12 minutes. You test it by tasting it. So that's just going to boil away. Right, now I'm going to start doing the preparation. So I've got my onion, which is, as I said, it's a half. So I'm going to take the goobies off. Like I always do, take the layer that you don't want in your food. Now don't leave it on your chopping board because it could get into your food. So put it over here. Right, now you know with the onion, we chop, chop one way first and then we do the other side and then we do this way. chopping board we're moving all over the place then so we've got our onion chopped then our chili now I'm not going to use all of it because I'm not a really huge fan of chili that can be kept for someone else now I'm going to take out some of the seeds now don't put your fingers anywhere near your face because you will end up with stinging eyes I've done it before and it is brutal so, I'm pretty sure these chilies are going in a meta, uh, pestle, met, I'll get it right in a minute, a mortar and pestle, so I'm not going to cut them up too fine. Then we have our garlic, remember you crush it first with the heel of the knife, take off the skin, Take off the goobies at the end. And chop that up. No, they're going together, so I'm not worried about them mixing. All right. So we have in here our shrimp paste, our onion, and our chili, and our garlic. And we're going to grind it down. Now if you don't have shrimp paste you can always add fish sauce later. Fish sauce has a very obviously fish flavour but the shrimp paste is good but if you don't have it don't worry. So I'm going to come back when that has been ground down a bit more. So as you can see it has ground down into a nice paste which is what you need. Now, if you don't have a, a metal, a pot mortar and pestle, you can simply chop this as finely as you can. 
and then using the tip of your knife, see how I'm just grinding it down, mashing it down with the edge of my knife? And that makes just as good a paste as what I'm, I've made. Actually, it's probably even a bit better. Just that it takes longer. So there we go. I'm just gonna put that straight into my paste. And there we are. Okay, now I'm going to trim my lettuce. Oh look, there was an extra little present, a little bug there. We don't want that. So I'm going to shred my lettuce. And that is going to be used later. Then I'm going to get my cucumber and I'm going to slice that finely. I'm going to cut it into slices, pop it back on. Okay, so there's our cucumber, that says a garnish for later on. So, now we have our spring onion. As you know, we get rid of the bottom. We peel off this top layer. Usually it just peels off. This one, yeah, there we go, see? We peel this layer off, because this just goes stringy and it goes like a bit of um, rubber when you cook it, so we don't want that. So get rid of that. Now, this is a bit of a sad looking spring onion, so I'm just going to cut up to there. I'm going to cut this on the diagonal. Mainly for presentation because it looks really nice on the diagonal. Okay, I'm going to take that off my board and put it somewhere. Well, I'll put it somewhere safe in a second. Now, I don't want, actually no, just wait there. I'm going to put it in a bowl because I don't want cross-contamination with my chicken. So, what are we doing with our chicken? We're cutting this, it's been defrosted so it's a little bit cooked on one side, but that's okay. We're cooking this in, uh, cooking, cutting it into five centimetre strips. These are tenderloins, so it makes it a bit easier. Tenderloins are that little bit that comes separate from the breast when you do bony chicken, you'll notice that. So there's my chicken done. And now we're going to start cooking. I'm going to put my oil in. The pan is hot, so it won't take long to heat up. And what we're going to do is we're going to be making an omelette. So I'm going to wait for that just to cook just to heat up a tiny bit more I'm going to add my egg all at once and then I'm just going to stir it around getting it nice and light and I'm not going to cook it for too long because it's going to be a little bit runny on top because it's a garnish so I'll just cook it a tiny bit more some of that to the side. And when I flip it on its side like that, it's going to go on my chopping board until we need it at the end for a garnish. Oil heating and I'm going to add my chicken. I'm going to cook that and then take it out again. We don't want it to dry out. Meanwhile our rice is still cooking. Wow. 
won't take long. It's cut into five centimetre strips, as you know. And I'll just let it sit there. <laughs> noisy in here today because we've got our uh, VCAL class in and the other room's got um, year 12 in it I think so a little bit noisy but that's all right. Sweet coat. So that is just about done. Just a tiny bit of pink left. How do you know it's done? You make a little hole in the biggest piece which would be that one for me. Oh it's just about done. It's going to be heated up again in a minute anyway, so I'll just get that piece there. That piece there is a little bit underdone. Come with that. Now we have that beautiful paste I made before. Put that out. is delicious. Now it's a bit because it's got water in it obviously from the onion and the garlic. Set them down now. Now we are cooking it to develop the flavours and obviously develop the aromas. Yeah. So I'll cook that out for two or three minutes and we're going to add our Soy sauce or a ketchup manis. Now I'm not going to cook it out completely because I'm running out of time. So I'm going to add my tomato sauce because it's going to come out of there. Tomato sauce and my thickened soy sauce. Just going to try and get all that sauce out of there. Better? <laughs> and we cook that out. So I'm going to add my lettuce. Half of the spring onions and cook that. I wish we had smell of vision, it's rather delicious. So that's going to cook, and then we're going to add our rice. The rice has been cooked because I've tasted it, I'm going to drain it. So, what am I going to do for plating? So, we have 
because it's going to keg in anyway, I'm just going to put it straight into our foil. I'm going to try and make it as presentable as you can. Make a little heap in the middle. And we're going to sprinkle the shallots on the top, the rest of our spring onions, and our slices of cucumber. And there we have it. Nasi gori. So I hope you really enjoyed that guys. It's just another different way of making fried rice. Very delicious, very fresh and very good for you. Okay, see you guys.